chapter 7 of class 5 which is animal world. In this chapter, beta, we are going to learn about habitat, breathing organ in animals, feeding habitats of animal, movement in animal, migration. Before starting this chapter, let us go through a get ready exercise. In this exercise, we have to match the places of the animal where they live. See, the first picture is of tiger. Tiger lives in a dense forest. Next picture is of camel. Camel lives in desert. See, the next picture is of penguin. Penguin lives in polar region. Next is of yak. Yak lives in mountain region. The place where an animal lives, eats, grows is known as its habitat. Animals live in different places. Animals live in forest, ocean, river, on trees, mountains, desert and snow covered polar regions. Now let us study in detail about habitat. Bache, habitat is the natural home or surrounding of an animal where it lives, grows, eats and reproduces is called its habitat. Now here we are going to study about some different habitats of animal. So basically we are going to study about five habitats that is forest, desert, polar region, ocean and freshwater habitat. Starting from forest. What are forest? You can see in the picture also. It is a large area covered with trees and plants. Forest is a large area covered with trees and plants. Now animals those live in this forest are lion, tiger, monkey, elephants, bears, bats, moles, rats, insect and different types of birds. Next picture is of desert. Desert is the large area, dry sandy region that receives very less rainfall, hot during day and cold at night. The animals those who live in desert is camel, rattlesnake, ground squirrel and scorpions. Next is polar and mountain regions. Animals live in polar and mountain region are polar bear, penguins, seals and walrus. These regions lie high above the sea level covered with snow, extreme cold throughout the year. Next picture is of oceans. Oceans are large continuous water body of salty water. In oceans the water is salty. The animals live in ocean are sharks, dolphins, octopus and other different types of fishes. Next is freshwater. Small water bodies such as river, lakes, ditches, ponds comes under the freshwater habitat. The animals those who live in freshwater is frog, fish, turtle, tortoise and it is the fact that the ocean is the largest habitat in the world. There are five oceans on earth that is Pacific Ocean, Atlantic Ocean, Indian Ocean, Arctic Ocean and Southern Ocean. So these are the five oceans on the earth. There is wide variety of animals in the world. These animals have different body features, behaviors and habitats that help them to survive in their habitats. So, <clears throat> for the survival, 
the very important thing is breathing so first we are going to study about breathing organ in animals different animals in different habitat have different breathing organs first what is breathing all animal breathe in oxygen and breathe out carbon dioxide the body needs oxygen to burn food and release energy this energy is utilized to perform different activities of the body terrestrial animals such as lion deer giraffe and elephant takes oxygen present in the air whereas aquatic animals aquatic animals means the animals those who live in water so the aquatic animals such as fish starfish octopus take oxygen dissolved in water so the first breathing organ what we are going to study is bachche lungs animals such as mammals birds reptile breathe through a pair of spongy elastic air bags called lungs see this is the picture of lungs lung is a pair of spongy elastic air bags this is lung when we breathe air air reaches our lungs through the wind pipe this is wind pipe lungs have vast network of fine blood vessels this is the network of fine blood vessels when air reaches the lungs an exchange of gases takes place between air and the blood the oxygen is absorbed by the blood and carbon dioxide is given out in the air the absorbed oxygen is distributed to the different parts of the body through blood when the lungs contact the air contain carbon dioxide comes out through our nose and is released into air blood is a red color fluid that runs through our body red color of blood is due to the presence of oxygen carrying pigment called hemoglobin next topic is gills or next breathing organ is gills aquatic animals such as fishes crabs shark octopus breathe through gills gills are supplied with fine blood vessels animals that live in water take oxygen dissolved in water when water flows over their gills exchange of gases takes place the oxygen is absorbed by the blood and carbon dioxide is released from the blood beta c this is the gill uh, can you see this this is a frog frog has three breathing organs first is gill then lungs and moist skin a baby frog tadpole this is tadpole tadpole breathes through gills in water however an adult frog this is an adult frog adult frog is an amphibia it breathes through lungs on land and through its moist skin in water whales and dolphins are mammal not a fish they give birth to young ones they have lungs instead of gills right next topic is spiracles 
Asparagus are tiny air holes present in the body of insects for breathing. Here in the picture also you can see this is the sparicle. It is a tiny hole. In sparicle, trachea and air sac is present for the exchange of the gases. Insects such as grasshoppers, cockroach and butterflies do not have blood. They breathe through tiny holes called sparicles present on their body. Sparicle leads to the network of air tubes called trachea. Trachea is the air tube. These air tubes supplies oxygen to every tissue. The oxygen is absorbed by the tissue and carbon dioxide is given out through the sparicle as the body muscles contact. Next breathing organ is moist skin. Animals such as frog, earthworm breathe through their moist skin. Means the exchange of gases in earthworm and frog is taken place by the moist skin. Body surface. Microorganisms such as amoeba, paramecium breathe through their body surface. Microorganism means very small organism which are not seen by our naked eyes. Those organisms are known as microorganisms. Now move forward to practice time 1. Name the habitat of these animals. Now we have to name the habitat of Penguin. Penguin lives in a mountain region and polar region. And a polar and mountain region. Lion lives in forest. Rattlesnake, it is it lives in desert. Whales. Whales live in ocean. Mention the breathing organ of these animals. Grasshopper. Grasshopper breathe through air holes which are known as spiracles. Man, we people breathe through our lungs. Frog breathe through its lungs and moist skin. When frog lives on land, it breathes through its lungs. And when it lives on watery surface, it breathes through its moist skin. Octopus, octopus breathe through its gills. Now, feeding habit, habits of animals. Food is very essential for the survival. Food gave us energy to perform different activities and help to stay healthy. Different animals eat different type of food. Depending on the food they eat, the animals are of different types. Jaisa food animals khate hain, us hisab se unko different categories mein Divide kiya gaya hai bache. There are four categories. First is herbivores. Second is carnivores. Third omnivores and rodents. On the basis of their food habitats, they have different structure of teeth. Like herbivore animals have sharp incisors to pull out grass and bite. Broad premolars and molars to grind and chew the grass. Carnivores animal, they eat flesh. They have sharp canines. See, these are the canines. They have sharp canines to tear flesh and strong premolars and molars to crush flesh and bones. Omnivores. Omnivores are the animals, those who eat plants and flesh of the animals. They have well developed canines. See, this is the canine teeth of the omnivore animal. They have well developed canines, broad molars and premolars. These are molars and premolars for grinding the plant matter. Rodents. Rodents are the animals 
such as rats, rabbits, squirrels. They have small sharp front teeth to glon seeds and nuts. Meaning of glon is to bite and chew continuously small bites at a time. In Hindi we call it as kutarna. Now coming to the ha feeding habits of the bird. Birds use their beaks to catch and pick their food. They, there are different types of beak in birds. Different birds have different types of beaks. Shape and size of the beak depends on the food a bird eats. For example, sparrow, this is a sparrow. It has a short beak. Short and strong beak for crushing seeds. Duck have a broad beak to scoop their food. This is the duck and the beak of the duck you can see it is broad. Woodpecker. Woodpecker have a long straight and Strong beak to dig the bark of the tree for insects. Flesh eating birds such as eagle, vulture, kite have a sharp teeth, sharp and strong hooked beak and claws to catch the prey and tear flesh. Such birds are called birds of prey. Eating habit of frog. Frog have long sticky tongue to catch the prey. This is the frog. It has a long sticky tongue to catch the insects. Once the insect sticks to the tongue, the frog roll its tongue back to the mouth. The long tongue is folded inside the mouth but when the prey approaches, the frog shoot out its tongue the prey is strict to the to it and then it folds back into the mouth find out how butterflies and mosquito feeds on their food butterflies takes the juice of the flower which is known as nectar butterfly feeds on nectar Mosquitoes feed on human blood. Okay, animals do not prepare their own food like plants do. They move from one place to another in the search of food and water. They also show the movement to protect themselves and their babies from enemy building nests and breeding places. Animals have different body parts depending on how they move. First we are going to study about mammals, the movements in mammals. Animals such as cow, horses, dogs, lions and elephants move with their two front limbs and two hind limbs. These are four limbs and these two are hind limbs. The front limbs are called fore limbs and the hind at the back, sorry, the limbs at the back are called hind limbs. Human beings have well developed fore limbs and hind limbs. In humans, the arm form the fore limb and the legs form the hind limb. The hind limb in humans support their body and help to walk, run, enable them to stand upright. <laughs> Reptiles. Animals such as lizard, crocodile have scales on the underside of their body. They crawl with the help of scales. Snakes are the only reptile 
that do not have limbs they have scales and broad plates on the underside of their body the snake slither forward against the ground with the help of the flexible backbone scales and ribs what is the meaning of slither the meaning of slither is to slide movement in insect insects have three pair of legs insects such as cockroach and ant use their leg to crawl on ground grasshopper has long hind legs to hop on the ground insects such as house fly butterfly and moth use their wings to fly insects such as in uh, such insect use their strong chest muscle to fly the wings of the insect have tiny color scales that is why the insects look very colorful to us aquatic animals aquatic animals are the animal those who live in water theek hai animals such as fish swim in water they use their two paired fins to move forward these are the paired fins these are the two paired fins which help the fish to move forward the unpaired fin help to maintain balance this is the unpaired fin which help to maintain the balance and the tail fin help to change the direction this is the tail fin which helps to change the direction while swimming the streamlined body of the fish reduces friction for easy movement streamlined body means this shape of the body helps the fish to reduce friction some animals such as frog duck toads use their webbed feet to swim turtles have flippers these are the flippers turtles have flipper flippers are the paddle like limbs it means turtles have four paddle like limbs they are known as flipper see this is one this is two then three and four turtles have four paddle like limbs the two limbs in penguin act as flipper the two front limbs in the penguin act like flippers they use their flippers to push water and swim now see one interesting thing is there the wings of insect are different from birds insect do not have feathers and bones in their wings birds can fly and walk they have their four limbs modified into wings means the four limbs the front limbs of the bird are modified as wings wings are attached to the bone wings are attached to the bone strong chest muscle enable flapping of wing and smooth flight of the bird wings have feather and bones tail feather help in changing the direction or smooth landing of the bird tail tail feather these are the tail feather these are the wings of a bird <coughs> bird use their hind limbs to walk hop and preach meaning of preach is to settle or rest upon an eval
object preached the meaning of preached is to settle or rest upon elevated object ostrich emu rhea and penguin are some flightless birds flightless means these bird cannot fly practice time 2 write the body part used for the movement in these animals snake the body part used by snake is scales and flexible back backbone human use their hind limbs fishes use paired fins and tail fins cockroach use its legs cockroach have cockroach have three paired legs grasshopper long hind limbs sparrow wings and hind limbs turtle flippers turtle use flippers frog use webbed feet parrot use wings and hind limbs topic is migration migration is the mass movement of animal from one place to another in search of favorable conditions food and nesting theek hai some animals move great distance to far away places to avoid unfavorable condition or to find suitable nesting place these animals travel in mass at certain time of the year the mass movement of the animal from one place to another is known as migration once again the definition the mass movement of the animal from one place to another is called migration now we'll see migration in mammals so animals such as caliber reindeer and wild bees travel long distance to search favorable feeding ground in autumn and spring season whale travel to warm part of the ocean to give birth to their babies later both babies and parents return to the original habitat now we'll talk about fishes fishes such as eel spend its life in river and travels to sea matlab fish kaun si wali eel eel fish kya karti hai beta apni puri life kahan spend karti hai river mein aur jab usko egg dena hota hai to wo kahan chali jati hai sea mein theek hai fishes such as eel spend its life in river and travel to sea to lay the eggs once the eggs are hatched the eel parent dies aur jab egg de deti hai wo to kya eel parent kya hoti hai die ho jati hai and the young eel travels back to the river aur jo young eels hoti hain wo kya karti hain sea se wapas river ke taraf chali jati hain जहां से उनके पेरेंट्स ने जर्नी स्टार्ट की थी ठीक है ऑन द अदर हैंड सालमन फिश सालमन फिश दिस इज सालमन फिश ये अपनी एंटायर लाइफ कहाँ स्पेंड करती है सी में और रिवर में कब जाती है जब उसे एग्स देने होते हैं तब बर्ड्स माइग्रेशन इन बर्ड्स the very famous migratory bird is siberian cranes and arctic terns theek hai so siberian cranes ke bare mein aapko batate hain siberian cranes siberia mein rehti hain aur siberia ka jo harsh cold environment hai wahan se wo travel karti hain kahan india mein india ke rajasthan mein favorable conditions ke liye wo travel karti hain yahan pe ठीक है लेट अस सी मोस्ट एक्टिव माइग्रेटरी क्रिएचर्स आर बर्ड्स साइबेरियन क्रेन हैव नेस्टिंग ग्राउंड इन 
western siberia and they migrate to india every year the siberian crane travel the entire 6450 kilometers migratory route to escape the harsh siberian winter the longest migration made in the animal world is by a bird the arctic tern it travels approximately 35000 kilometers between arctic and antarctica twice a year this is arctic tern and it travels how many kilometers 35000 kilometers from arctic to antarctic twice a year it is the longest migratory route next we will see is migration in insects insects such as orange and black monarch butterfly and loctis are migratory insect monarch butterfly migrate in winters to comparative warm place they travel from canada to mexico and california and loctis migrate to found to find a favorable feeding ground however whenever they migrate they cause loss of destruction they cause lots of destruction by eating and destroying the standing crops new words habitat habitat is defined as the natural home or surrounding of an animal where it lives grows eats and reproduces rodents rodents are the small animals such as rat squirrel that grown the seed and nut migration the mass movement of the animal from one to another place is known as migration okay bachche now we will see the quick summary of the chapter animal world different animals live in different place they also have different they also differ in the way of breathing eating and movement move so the first word is habitat habitat is the natural home where animal lives grows eats and reproduces it is dif it differs from different animals now we'll talk about the breathing organ of animals breathing organs of animal are lungs gills spiracles moist skin and body surface what are the example of the animals those who respire through lungs or those who breathe through lungs are mammals frogs birds from gills fishes water animals and tadpoles spiracles insect breathe through spiracles moist skin frog and earthworm body surface amoeba paramecium feeding habits of animals there are four types of animals divided according to their feeding habit herbivores carnivores omnivores and rodents herbivores have sharp incisors and broad premolars and molars carnivores sharp canines and strong premolars and molars omnivores animals have well developed canine and broad premolars and molars rodents have sharp front teeth birds have different type of beaks according to their feeding habits movement of animals mammals move through their fore limbs and hind limbs reptiles show movement with their scales and broad plates insects show movement with their legs wings with scales fishes show movement with their fin streamlined body and tail turtle and penguins have paddled limbs or flippers birds have wings 
with feathers and claws. Next is migration. Example of mammals those migrate are reindeer, wild beast and whales. Fishes. Example of fishes which migrate is eel and salmon. Birds. European stroke, Siberian crane and arctic tern. Insect. Orange and black monarch, butterfly and loctus.